Welcome back. Let's continue the tube cutting machine project. Sorry for the delay. My trip to China set me back a little bit, but I got some great footage of Wuhan and Skyfire and the Rekas headquarters. So I'm going to have some cool videos coming out about them soon. Um, today, let's uh, wrap up the front chuck and uh, assemble the rear chuck and get both of those installed on the machine. Let's go. While I was gone in China, some parts from PCB Way arrived. Let's open this up here and see what we got. All right, all kinds of stuff. Let me find what we need here to continue building the frame. All right, I think this is definitely one of them. Oh yeah, I think this is the other one we need right here. I didn't get them black anodized this time. I wanted to see what the finish looked like just raw. Also, since uh, I was machining some of the parts, I thought that they would just match this way. And, uh, nice. Finish looks amazing. Way better than I can do. Alright, cool. Alright, nice. They look great. These are the two pieces we're going to use to mount my chuck onto the frame. I need to get these four holes right here, tap for M10 to mount the front chuck. So let's do that now. This lower plate is going to go right here and the front chuck is going to rest on this lip for support. So let's see if we can get this installed here. Okay, now let's get the top mount for the chuck installed. It's going to go something like this. It's all started. Let me get that centered and I'll snug it down. I forgot to order my M10 screws to mount the chuck, so uh, those should arrive tomorrow and then we can get the chuck installed. I got a couple more parts here from PCB Way. I thought while they were sponsoring the project, I would make a couple upgrades to my front chuck and had them machine a couple parts for me here. First, I had them make me some better rollers out of stainless steel instead of aluminum. I figured they would uh, last longer this way. I also had PCB Way make me a couple new lead nuts out of steel. Uh, I had machine mine out of aluminum and then I got to thinking, well, those will probably wear out pretty fast. Um, so these will probably last me way longer. So uh, I need to tap these two holes and install the new rollers. And then I think we can install the front chuck on the machine. I figured out that usually I can just hold the piece when I'm tapping aluminum. But for steel, it needs to be in a vise because uh, I can't hold on to it. So let's try this. So I'm going to get this all disassembled so I can add these new upgraded parts. Um, that's one of the reasons I didn't lock tight anything yet. And I'm actually, I'm still not going to do that yet because um, I got a lot of comments about potentially adding some springs to give this a little relief if the uh, tube isn't uh, perfectly on dimension, which is something I still might do. I'm going to experiment without it first and, and see how it works. I got the new stainless steel rollers installed and I got the new steel uh, lead screw nuts installed and everything fit perfect, so I think we're ready to get this installed. It's pretty heavy, that's why I uh, added this lip here on this bottom plate to help hold it while I uh, get it into position. Oh yeah, it's heavy. Looks like it fits nicely. Let's see if I can get it attached here, these line up. All right, it seems a little tight, like I might need to raise this, yeah. I think the top of this should be even with the top of this 4040 extrusion. It feels like it's slightly low, so I think I need to loosen this up and raise it up so it's flush, and then I think it's gonna line up well with the holes. So let me do that real quick. All right, let's try this again.
Everything started. Let me see if I can snug it up now. Okay, the front chuck is installed. It looks pretty good and it feels really secure. This from the back side. I've got some more parts here from PCB Way. I believe this is everything we need to assemble the rear chuck. So let's start getting these open. PCB Way has offered to sponsor a number of the custom milled aluminum parts for the project. You may know of PCB Way as a one stop solution for PCB manufacturing, but they also offer a wide range of other manufacturing services such as CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. This is a really great service for when you need parts but don't have the manufacturing capabilities in house or even just want to save time. For this tube cutting machine project, I ordered 24 unique parts, some of them having multiple quantities. I had the CNC machines to produce them, but ordering them through PCB Way has saved me a considerable amount of time. Ordering was easy. I just exported the set files from Fusion 360 and then drag and drop the files on their website, select the quantity and material. They also offer a number of different finishing options for machine parts, but this time I chose to go with raw aluminum. That way they would match the parts that I machined in house. It took 21 days to receive the parts from the date of ordering and they look great. Uh, the finish is much better than I can achieve with my CNC machines. So check out their website at PCBWay.com and thank you to PCBWay for supporting this project. Here's a quick look of the rear chuck that we're about to assemble. All of these parts are going to be to build the rear chuck and these are a couple different sets of clamps. Um, that will go on the vise for either square or rectangle tube and these will be for round tube. Here are the other components we're going to need for this. I have this 5 to 1 reducer and I have this self-centering chuck and these clamps will mount on there something like this. Let's tap some holes. Uh, this needs some M5, and these need some M5, so... Alright, now this one needs, uh, six more tap for M5. All right, this next piece uh, needs some M4 tapped holes. So let's switch up this out. Now I still need to do some uh, M5 uh, blind holes on the side here, so. Uh, I need to see how I can set the depth stuff on this real quick before I do those. Okay, since these holes are on the side, um, I'm using a vise again to hold the workpiece. Um, the actual hole is 15 millimeters deep, and I've programmed the tapping arm to tap uh, 12 millimeters deep. And uh, it looks like there's this uh, function for a deep hole where it will tap a little bit and then retract a little bit and then go further and further and further until it hits that depth. So let's try it, see what happens. All right, that seemed to work pretty well. Here, we'll do another hole and I'll let you see the display on the tapping arm. A couple more holes in the sides. Uh, two in this side. To in this side. All right, this piece is done. I think only one more plate we need to tap. For this plate, uh, there's just three in each side that we need to tap here for M5. So I'm gonna do it same as last time.
Nice. I think we can start assembly. All right, nice. Fits together nicely. So if I've done this right, this should catch right here to these guide blocks. And it looks like the holes line up. So let me get some M4 screws and I'll get that attached. All right, nice. Now I can get this five to one reducer installed on here. It's gonna go right here. All right, that looks pretty good. I think now we can start getting the vise attached to this. Now let's get this front plate installed. Cool. Now we need to get the vise mounted to this plate. All right, cool. Now we can get this attached to the rest. Let's go ahead and throw on a pair of these jaws on here. I don't know what I'm going to end up testing first. I'll just throw these ones for the small round tube first. All right, nice. That looks pretty good. Let's get it installed on the machine. Okay, let's see here. Let's try doing something like that. That feels pretty nice. I think now we just need some motors. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, it just occurred to me that um, I'm actually gonna have to remove this uh, vise and this mounting plate. Um, I forgot to add features to add uh, an optical homing switch. So I'm probably gonna have to mill out uh, and type a couple holes there to mount that. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this. That wraps it up for today. I've already got the next several videos recorded. I just need to edit the footage. Um, so next video, we will build the X axis and the Z axis. Um, thank you to PCB way for sponsoring this project. And thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making these projects possible. Thank you guys. You're awesome.